This survey is the reason why did I choose to make video on this topic. Today I am going to share one of the simplest yet the most effective technique to crack any job interview from the employer point of view and whatever I will be telling you today that is on the basis of my 11 year experience in HR industry. But before I start the video, I want to ask the same question to you as well. Do you really find it difficult to crack the job interview and wonder what does employer look for in any of the candidate? Keep that question in the parking lot and answer it after watching the video. We are going to discuss exactly the same thing in this video that what are the competencies which employer look for in any of the candidate and how to prepare for those skill sets which are required to crack any job interview. This video has three sections. Number one, competencies which employer look for in any of the candidate for hiring which will be different for each job role and position. Second, master your stories and third, quick ways to brush up your competencies. Let me first give you a little context of the video and then we will start the learning. Nowadays interview technique has been completely changed rather than focusing on what can you deliver in the future, interviewers prefer to know what have you delivered in the past which actually makes them believe more on your competencies and skills which you have actually exhibited. Rather than you just telling them that I can deliver this in the future or I can do that in the future. The aim behind this practice is to know the real you and how anyone in this world will get to know a person is obviously by knowing their past or by spending some time with them in the present. But unfortunately interview is not a dating game where interviewer will spend months or years with you before hiring you. So the only way which is left with them to know you is through your past. This is the reason that they focus more on your past performance and the skills competencies which you have exhibited in the past. So this is the context of the video. Now let's start the learning. First section of the video is the competencies which employer wants in any of the candidates. So one of the easiest way to know these competencies is by going through the job description thoroughly. You need to make sure that you ask the HR recruiter to share the complete JD and the competencies which are required to perform the job role for which you are getting interviewed. Once you receive the JD and the competencies, make sure that you go through it again and again till the time you fully understand the meaning of each sentence and what does employer want you to do in that role. While doing this exercise, you will also get to know what problem employer wants to resolve or what goal employer wants to achieve by hiring someone on that position. And once you know that, then the only thing which is left for you is to show in the interview that how are you going to add the value to resolve that problem or to achieve the goal which employer wants to achieve. And how to do that, that I will tell you in the second section of the video, which is master your stories. In case if recruiter has shared the list of competencies with you is well and good, but in case if he or she has not, then you need to prepare the list of competencies which are required to perform the job role for which you are getting interviewed. And to help you to do that, I am sharing the list of 50 competencies which are required to perform any job role. I am giving the link to download the document in description box. You can download the document from there. It will help you a lot. As a next step, you have to evaluate and rate yourself out of 10 against each competency which will help you to know what are the competencies you are good at and what are the competencies you need to improve upon. While doing this exercise, you will also get to know the possibilities to crack the job interview. And if you find yourself 8, 9 or more than that on most of the competencies, then the chances are pretty high that you could be a best fit for that job role. Now when you have understood the competencies which are required to perform the job role for which you are getting interviewed, let's move towards the second section of the video which is master your stories which will help you to gain the confidence of the hiring manager that you could be a best fit for this job role. In this step you have to prepare the stories and when I'm saying stories I mean the real one where you have shown those skill set and competencies which are required to perform in the job role for which you are getting interviewed. Now most of you must be thinking why is it important to tell the stories. I will tell you why. Number one stories are one of the best ways to influence or persuade anyone. Second it will make the interviewer believe more on your competencies as you have shown them in the past and will further help you to show how are you going to add the value to resolve the problem or to achieve the goal which employer wants to achieve by hiring someone on that position. Third, it will open the communication loop and will make the interviewer interested to know more about you. As an example, if interviewer asks you 
what do you think about your communication skills or how are your communication skills then most of the candidates are going to reply this question just in one sentence they will say my communication skills are good or they will say my communication skills are okay but there is always some scope of improvement now compare this answer to the one where you are sharing one or two example or stories from your professional life which could be related to any recognition or appreciation which you received related to your communication skill any instance when you rolled out important communication in the organization which got everyone's attention and eventually got the job done or how did you communicate with inter and intra department team member especially in this work from home time and got the job done or when you saved any client for the organization or got a new one in the company so there could be many more such examples now you tell me which answer will be better to influence or persuade the hiring manager the one which is close ended or the one which will open the communication loop give me your answers in the comment box and your inputs will help many other people similarly you have to prepare two to three stories for each competency now preparing the stories does not mean that you have to tell all of them to the hiring manager rather treat it as your treasure box and open it only when you are asked any question related to that particular competency and this treasure box will help you for many more coming years Now is the time to move towards the third section of the video but before that I want to know are you finding this video informative helpful yes or no if yes then give me your answers in a way which will open the communication loop consider comment box as your answer sheet and just fill it up and do subscribe to the channel so that you get to watch more meaningful content in the future third section of the video is quick ways to brush up your competencies once you have realized that you are lacking on certain competencies after rating yourself out of 10 against each one then you have to start brushing up your competencies as early as possible before the interview you can try some of these ways you can google about it you will find some relevant content which will help you to gain immediate knowledge you can also check on youtube you will find many videos related to any competency you can also read articles on linkedin or reach out to people in your circle and try to learn from those people who have got similar work experience or someone senior who understands how to use competencies at the workplace so this is one of the simplest and the most effective process to crack any job interview because eventually employers hires a candidate for the skill set competencies which he or she has but one thing which is required more than all of this is that first you have to trust on yourself if you are not confident then interviewer will get to know it from your body language and from your expressions and you tell me who would like to hire a candidate who does not has confidence on him or herself so this should be your first priority and then all these processes steps everything else will work out now you give me the answer of that question which i asked you in the starting of the video do you really find it difficult to crack any job interview and wonder what does employer look for in any of the candidate i am waiting to see your comments another important thing the next video will be on the soft skills which employer look for in any candidate for hiring make sure that you watch that it will really help you a lot